What is up, everyone? I'm coming on here for a couple of plays for the day. Um, there is an eSports protected promo again today. If you don't know, every single Wednesday and Saturday, they have been sending this out in June. Um, so we should have this one and we should have one more on Saturday. Um, but I don't know if they're going to bring this promo back, um, especially because they've been really cracking down on promos like, like Taco Tuesday and stuff like that, limiting me to $5. And I know limiting a lot of you guys to $5 as well. But um, this is, you know, uh, the promo, it's $50. I have it at $50. Some people have it at 20. Some people have it at five. Um, but yeah, I do have a play in today's video for this promo. It's going to be a Valorant two man. Um, and then there is some wild card Wednesday plays on sleeper, which I'm really excited about. If you guys don't know every Wednesday and Sunday on sleeper, they do a wild card Wednesday on Wednesday and then a sleeper Sunday on Sunday, which is two discounted plays every single day or, or on those days. So two on Wednesday, two on Sunday. Um, our goal for these is always to just hit one of these. So if we can just hit one of these out of two, um, then normally we're turning like $10 into $30 or $10 into $35. Um, and even if we miss the other one, we're still Still going to be uh, come out profitable on the day um, so yeah a lot of promos going on i will show you guys how we did yesterday in the vip we did really really well especially on a lot of these two-man entries um, mlb did really 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 well for us um, it was Taco Tuesday yesterday. I know that Messi one did not hit. I, I don't think Messi got two shots. Um, and then we also had this WNBA one cash for us yesterday that we were waiting on. Um, and then also this one right here um, could have been a a four a four out of four. Could have been a ten x entry here. The League of Legends correlation cashed for us. We had one player on one team go more, one player on the other team go less. Um, but the MLB game, the Cardinals game, got delayed, so these two guys DMP'd. Unfortunate there. Had a good line. Uh, lineup for MLB correlation going on with Kyle Gibson to go over strikeouts and then Ozzy to go over hitter strikeouts, which would have been really fun to watch. Um, especially, you know, don't, don't mind the hundred dollars on here. Normally I put, you know, 10, $15 in every play. Um, this was a collab play and I'm not going to count it towards like my overall, my overall winnings. Like I'm not going to count like $250 towards the graph that I'm maintaining. Um, but you know, this is a, uh, two man hit right here. So for three X actually one actually was 2.5 X arm money because um of league of legends how correlated it is they only gave us 2.5 xr money which is really annoying when it should have been a 3x for a two man um but nonetheless prize picks is always trying to like get their little edge on us and stuff like that um i will also say um let me move this out of the way um what do i want to say here so i this one right here um, was the play of the day for the taco Tuesday. Um, I will say that it did not hit. Um, but what I did here is I went ahead and also sent this one out, um, which was Ranger Suarez to go less than pitcher strikeouts and then Tarek uh, Skullbond to go more than hitter strikeouts. Um, so we went ahead and cashed this one up here. And what I did is I pretty much middled this entry, which I'm probably going to do more, especially because taco Tuesday has been limited to $5. Um, but what I did is I took Ranger Suarez to go over 3.5, obviously with the taco and then I came over here and I took him less to go less than 5.5. So what we did is we actually hit both plays. We hit Ranger Suarez to go less um, than this uh, this line and then more than this line. So if he got four or five pitcher strikeouts, we would have cashed um, Ranger Suarez both times. So he got four. So we did we did cash him both times. I will also say this um, this line in particular right here. Um, did not last very long. It probably lasted like five minutes on my VIP because I got insanely good value on it. Um, so the, within five minutes, I took a screenshot of this and both of these plays bump. So if you did get this in, um, congrats, because we got really, really good value. But even if you got it in after the bump, we still hit. You can see that Tarek went up to... Uh, 6.5 and then Ranger Suarez went down to five and those still would have hit, right? We got four and we got seven. But just to show you guys like... Right when I send out the plays, a lot of times they are really, really good plays. And that's kind of the benefit of getting onto my VIP is I can send out plays throughout the day. You can tail them right away onto your phone just by clicking a link. It probably takes you 10 seconds to tail the play. And um, yeah, within five minutes, both of these plays bumped and we got 0.5 value on both of these players. So cool to see that. Cool to see like the um you know the the optimizer working really well that i use the daily grind fantasy optimizer and just like how great these plays were um i think specifically this Tarek one was a really really good play where it was like minus 170 on a lot of other books um so great plays there um and great uh performance yesterday on the vip 
I will just show you guys briefly how we have done. Um, this this is tracking since about the middle of May, so going on about a month and a half now. Um, you can see an insane run through May. Um, early June had a little bit of a down uh, down pull for like the first like five six days, um, rocketed back up, and now we have kind of like kind of kind of declined just because we haven't hit as many 10 X's as I would like to. Um, Counter Strike has kind of been here and there where it's like there's only been like one or two games going on a day, so I don't want to send out too many Counter Strike slips where it's just like we're taking taking every single player in one single Counter-Strike game. So I think um, next week is going to be the time where we're going to get like 10, 15 Counter-Strike game games again um, every single day. And just looking at this week too, um, there is like five or six games a day as well. So excited about that. If you guys don't know, last week Counter-Strike was really, really dry where we only got like maybe one game a day. Um, and Counter-Strike is kind of my bread and butter. Um, but yeah, you can see here um, on a little bit of an uptick here. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm hoping that we're going to go down a little bit just like this and and then we're going to rock it back up. And honestly, I know we will because this strategy is such um, a good strategy with the correlated betting strategy that we do have in place, um, as well as EV positive betting. But again, you guys looking at since mid-May um, up almost 100 units up 20 percent obviously really really good and you can see the record doesn't even have to be that good right you may see the record and be like oh this guy loses so much or, or like you're in the comments you're like oh this guy always loses but it's like look guys in since the middle of may we've only hit um, 76 slips, lost 238 of them, but we're up almost 100 units. It's because a lot of the slips that I do hit are very, very um, profitable and they are 10x slips. So you don't have to hit many 10x slips. You need to hit um, around like one in 10 of them to be break even, to be profitable. And uh, that is kind of our, our long term goal on the channel. Um, I will say that. Um, if you want access to my VIP and get plays like this that can get you this kind of return, what you can do is you can sign up for Better Sleeper or Chalkboard. All of that information will be in the description. Um, all these apps that give out a ton of promos every single day. Um, today I talked, to, I'm talking about sleeper yesterday. I was talking about better, um, a couple of days ago. And I think probably Friday is when I'll mostly talk about chalkboard cause they should have a big promo coming out then, but all these apps, they give out a ton of promos and a ton of value every single day. And I really take all of the promos that these guys offer, they give so many more promos than Prize Picks does because they're trying to compete with Prize Picks, you guys. Um, so what I'm asking is if you guys just deposit $10 into any of these apps, um, I do have affiliate links for them, so they will help me out, but they'll also help you out because they'll deposit match you, they'll give you a ton of promos, and you can get access to my VIP completely for free as long as you screenshot proof that you deposited $10 into any of these apps. So if you have a uh, sleeper and chalkboard, but you don't have better, then sign up for better. If you don't have it, if you have better and sleeper, but you don't have chalkboard, sign up for chalkboard, put $10 in and then send me a screenshot of proof that you did that. I will get you guys into my VIP for a full month for free um, with a code that I can give you guys. So let's go ahead and hop into the esports protected play and then I'll get into the sleeper promos um, and then I'll get to the code for the day. Um, so yeah, you guys, here is the sleeper or sorry, not the sleeper. Here is the esports protected play of the day. Um, as you saw earlier in the video, this is a promo they run every Wednesday and Saturday um, on in June. So we've gotten a couple of these promos so far, um, and this is going to be a Valorant correlated entry. Okay, so we got two players on um, different Valorant teams, but they are playing in the same game. So they are playing each other tomorrow at 11 a.m. Um, and I'm taking them to go more and more. The reason why I'm taking them to go more and more is because Valorant, how Valorant works, it's very similar to Counter-Strike. Actually, it is extremely similar to Counter-Strike, where it is correlated based off a of game length. So if a game ends up being a longer match where there's more rounds, it takes longer to determine a winner, then the mores are likely are more likely to hit. Um, so if this game, it goes the distance, maybe it goes into overtime, there's going to be a lot of rounds being played in this game, and that is going to favor the Moors. So if a longer game happens, then both of these guys, Brave and Nats, will have the benefit of a longer game, meaning they would likely go more um, on their kills because the more rounds there are, the more kills there are. Now, the opposite could happen as well, right? It could be a really short game. Um, pretty much it's first to 13 rounds. So once you get 13 rounds, you win the game. That could mean that it could be 13 to 1, 13 to 2, and it's just a really short game where there's only 14 or, or 15 rounds. Or it could go all the way to 13 to 11 or 13 to 10, where it is a longer game. Maybe it even goes into overtime if it gets tied 12-12. That is how these games work. So if it's a shorter game, then yes, the less and less would likely hit. Um, but this game, first of all, should be longer. Um, and then second of all, these lines are also um, lower on 
prize picks than they are on other books if you look at it. So that is why I'm taking the overs here. I'm confident in the overs. Um, again, the under could also hit. Um, the under could also, you know, always hit and go um, go O of two, right? Where we go, where we go red, red because it it, it is a shorter game, right? I'm expecting that to to potentially happen, right? I'm not expecting it to happen, but I'm um, telling you guys that it could happen. So. Um, what we want to do with correlation is we either want to go zero for two or two of two because it's just correlated based off of one thing. So that's kind of the definition of correlation. If one thing happens, then both of these things are going to happen. Um, so all we're hoping for is a longer game. And with that longer game, both of these guys should be able to go over their projection. So lock this in uh, for the protected play, you guys. This would be, for me, it would be $50 to turn into $150, um, but definitely max out the most that you can on, the, on your protected play, whatever your entry is. Um, let's go ahead and hop into the code for the day and then i'll get into those sleeper plays code for the day is going to be play 225 code can be used one time by one person so congrats if you are quick enough to use the code for the day um, if you guys don't know i do this in every single video where i i send out or i have a code in these videos that can be used just one time by one person and after that person uses it um, it can be any of y'all but as long as you get, get there quick enough um, then the code is going to be um, gone, right? The code is gone after it is used. So I do this in every single video. So tomorrow there's going to be a code. The next day there's going to be a code. Um, but it's just a reason to get to my videos earlier, um, tail the plays as soon as, as soon as possible, and then look for the code. Um, if you want the best shot at that, I really urge you guys to turn on post notifications as well as subscribe to my channel so you are notified when my videos come out and you can potentially... Um, get here quick enough to use this code. So um, yeah, you guys, again, congrats to whoever uh, won the code for the day. And then let's go ahead and get into the sleeper promo. So excited about this. I'm always excited about different promos that come out on these apps. Um, I'm telling you guys, I've probably only had sleeper for like three months now. And I am up, I think like $1,200 on sleeper just by taking these promos. Like honestly, all I do on sleeper is take the wildcard Wednesday and the, the sleeper Sunday. So I really use this app mostly Wednesday and Sunday for two plays on those days. So four plays a week and I'm up $1,200 just taking $10 entries. That is how profitable these plays are um, for these promos. So we do have uh, Crawford. I don't even know his first name, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know. K Crawford and L Gill, right? So I think it's Louis Gill. K Crawford, Lewis Gill to go over uh, fantasy points. I think Sleeper just started offering fantasy point um, projections. So if you're interested in that, they just started offering that too. That's kind of why they're doing these as the promos. But yeah, we got fantasy point projection and fantasy point projection. Let's just see how much they're discounted. Yeah, so L Gill is discounted from 24.5 to 19.5. And then K Crawford is 22.5 to 17.5. All right, so we're going to take them over. Obviously, that is the promo. The most you can put on is $10, and then I'm going to take Aaron Judge under 1.5 bases and then Shoei Otani under 2.5 hits, runs, and RBIs. Guys, I know they both hit home runs yesterday, but I'm telling you the data favors it. I will get into how I found these lines, um, but first I wanted to talk about um, the, the, the reason why we do the sleeper plays is we're hoping to at least hit just one out of two of these, right? So I'm pretty much spending $20 on these plays. I'm spending $10 here, $10 here, $20 in total. And as long as I can just hit one of these every single day or every single day that the promos come out, then I would turn $20 into $35, 35, uh, 50 cents and then, or $35. So that is how you become a profitable sports better. It's like, you over time, you use these promos and you're just going to stack up money because, you know, some days you may hit both of them. Some days you may just hit one of them. Some days you may hit none of them. But over the course of uh, months or a year, you're going to just stack these up slowly and just slowly over time build your bankroll. Um, I will show you guys how I found these Judge and Otani lines. That was on Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer, where you can use promo code DETECTIVE to get 25% 25 off, 25 off your first month. All right, you guys, so I am on the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer, and you can see I am under the Sleeper tab right here. Um, yesterday, I was under the Better tab, and then prior to that, I was on you know the Prize Picks tab, but I always go between all these to kind of find the best plays, um, especially for MLB, for WNBA, um, for NBA, when, whenever that goes on. And I'm going to go ahead and click Refresh just so we have the most up-to-date projections here. Um, you will see that T Tree McCowan, this actually just popped up before I started recording, um, and uh, this is a good play too. So you can see that on sleeper her odds are minus 116 um and, uh, and then on other books her line is like uh the same but it's minus 135 so this is a good play too if you wanted to pair it up with this um but i did end up taking Shoei otani and aaron judge right here um you'll see one thing on sleeper is there's not many ev positive plays on sleeper there's a lot of red um whereas like if you go to prize picks 
let me just go to price picks. There's going to be a lot of green, right? There's a lot of green because there is a lot of EV positive plays on price picks. Um, so again, you guys on sleeper, I'm not saying there's a lot of EV positive plays where you can just bet every single day on sleeper. I'm more saying that I, I use it to take the promos because the promos are so good and promos, no matter what are going to be profitable. Um, because you know, that's just how it is. The lines are, are super reduced. Um, but anyway, you guys, I'm going to take Shoei Otani under hits, runs, RBIs under 2.5. You can see the line here on sleeper is going to be uh, equivalent to plus one. 100. And then the lines on other books, still pretty good, right? We got DraftKings to be minus 110, uh, BetMGM minus 105, and then Bet Online minus 120. So I like to kind of average these all out in my head. Um, that goes to about like minus 112, minus 111. So a good play if you're getting it on sleeper at plus 100. Um, then we got Aaron Judge at plus 101. So just a little bit, um, a little bit like more, right? And um, under total bases, 1.5. And then on other books right here, we got it at minus 109, minus 110, minus 105, minus one, um, 109, and minus 110. So again, you guys average it all out. It's around minus 108, where you're actually getting it on sleeper at plus 101. So that is how I found these two plays on sleeper today. I use this all the time to find the, the sleeper plays and the sleeper promos and pretty much leveraging the promos as well as leveraging um, the daily grand fantasy optimizer on the sleeper tab is how I've turned um, going from like a hundred dollars, my pro my promo fund that I deposited in to $1,200 in just like three months, you guys. So really, really easy to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's catch that esports protected play today. And I will see you in tomorrow's video.